and welcome to this week's Facebook Live. So we're going to talk about grounding exercises this week. I've talked about grounding exercises in the past, but this is more of an explanation. Um, I do include um, a, a grounding exercise for you to, that you might find useful, um, particularly on the go. Um, but also I give you other suggestions where you can find more information um, and links to other uh, grounding exercises that I've already done. You might find them useful. So let's get down to it. Um, grounding exercises, well, what are they? Um, they really help us when we're feeling overwhelmed and that can be by unwanted thoughts, memories, including flashbacks. Um, if we're feeling disassociated, um, if we're f anything, any kind of feelings around trauma or anxiety, um, if you're being triggered by stress, because grounding exercises are for to help us recenter, calm the body and mind, and then help us shift back in to the present moment, um, and away from all that you know, the negative thoughts, the memories, the feelings from the past or maybe it was about the future you were thinking about you were catastrophizing whatever it is so you were you know mind reading and things like that whatever it is that was shifting you out of the present moment these exercises and you don't have to do all of them you know you pick one that works for you and uh, that you find useful some of them have do have specific uses um, but those would be worked through with a therapist if you were with a therapist um, an awful lot of the time, um, you know, if you're in uh, therapy, people who have anxiety, depression, stress, substance abuse, um, eating disorders, PTSD in any of its forms, as I said, disassociation, trauma, panic attacks, chronic pain, um, ADHD, ASD, um, and that's that's not an include a full list of people who find these grounding techniques very useful. Um, but as I said, you would work through with a therapist um, if you had any one of those conditions and needed to use grounding techniques. Um, so what type of techniques are there out there? There's many types of exercises. Peter Levine, very good book um i'm trying to think nope i don't have it to hand um sorry about that i don't have it to hand um but his work is very good in this but there's a lot of people a lot of therapists out there that do it um so it can include deep breathing it can include mindfulness meditations three minute breather um which i've done before as a free podcast on that um that's based on uh deep breathing you could do rhythmic breathing I spoke about last week um, engaging the senses there that's very good if you just focus on one sense so you know touch taste feel hear see um, very good at bringing us back into the present moment um, mint chewing mint chewing gum is very good for snapping us out of um, you know thoughts if you can if you find yourself very very um, caught up in something feeling overwhelmed by your thoughts, feeling stressed or anxious, having one piece of mint chewing gum because you can't focus on two senses at the one time. The mint helps to snap us back into the present moment. It's the taste and the smell. And, um, you know, it, it, does, it does tend to work for people. So uh, give it a go. It is one. But if you would like to look at, I have a range of six blogs on engaging the senses. Um, there are good habits. Any one of those are good for helping, you know, bring you into the present moment and to help you relax. Um, body awareness exercises, Peter Levine does um, some really good ones. Um, again, though, I would recommend you working with a therapist with some of those. Um, but all of them, any of them that you'd, you would use. OK, and I've given other ones before. Um, but any of them that you would use, they should help to empower you to manage whatever you're finding challenging at that moment in time or to manage your triggers. OK, so they should empower you. So they, they should be working for you. Some people, um, you know, use um, a ring 
you know something that they can start fiddling with to try and bring them bring themselves back to the present moment use different types of jewelry maybe a pendant or you know these are um crystal beads people use crystal beads as well something that you can wear um your watch something that you would have with you for every day some people wear um you know an elastic band that they snap um you know that is one way of doing it um but as i said you know engaging the senses is really good um and it is a fast way to uh, relieve your stress your anxiety your overwhelm you know the thoughts the memories the feelings um the key about this though is to find out which one works for you so sometimes that that might take a bit of time and a bit of patience to figure that out but at, in the end and at the end of the day it will help you um and it's well worth it um so examples of using the senses would be you know um as i said about them in chewing gum but lighting a scented candle is another one people do they can focus on the light and also the scent of the candle walking you know getting up getting out of wherever you're sitting or wherever you're ruminating and moving just moving um some people find you know that um uh, walking along by the sea walking in nature walking in the local park um can help them you know ground themselves they can feel more grounded some people find music now it can be either calming or uplifting whichever suits you or you can use both um depending on the situation can 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 be helpful in grounding themselves but as i said like there are a number of different ones different techniques that that are healthy habits to engage in um that you know engage sight sound touch taste and smell that you can you can use um and go look at those blogs there's six of them um one the sixth one uses a mix of one to two senses so go and have them have them have a look at them um the one technique that i think a lot of people find very useful is the five four three two one technique um you can use it anywhere standing in the queue at the supermarket working at your desk um you know standing in the kitchen anywhere in your bedroom anywhere you can use this because it helps use the sense your sense of all the senses to bring you back into the moment and that's what this is about it's bringing you back into the moment grounding you and you know for you to feel reorientated and calmer and you can repeat it as often as you want this technique um you don't just have to run through it once some people find once is enough some people need to do it over and over again until they they feel reorientated and calmer um so it's five four three two one it's say five things you see right now so you look around you and you look for some details so that could be the window the curtains the bed for instance or the chair your desk whatever it is that's in the room that you're there um it could be five things on your desk it could be a plant uh whatever's in the office um even if you're sitting in your car there are five things you can name you can look around you out the window pull into a car parking space don't do this driving pull into a car parking space um and then you know reorientate yourself before you continue driving um so five things you can see name four things that you can feel right now so that's about touch so four things you can touch again you know even if you are standing in a shopping queue there are things you can touch you can touch the groceries in your basket you can touch the basket or the shopping trolley you can touch your jacket or your just rub your um you know the collar of whatever you're wearing um you can you know uh, touch your hand um it could be a ring you're wearing it could be you know your watch or whatever it is there will be something you can touch even in a supermarket even in your car you can there are things you can touch in your car um you can carry items in your pocket or in your bag specifically for to use with this technique so basically you're noticing the sensation of touch you know when you touch something between what you touch and the feel that you get that you actually receive um again you're trying to slow yourself down you're trying to calm yourself reorientate yourself 
Next, three things that you can hear right now. Again, even if you're the only person in a room, there are still things you're going to be able to hear. Um, so try and pick out the sounds, the different sounds that you, you can hear. Even if it is, you know, if you get up and move around your bedroom, you can hear your shoes or your feet on the floor. You know, you can tap something and listen to, you know, the sound it's making. Um, there is ways around this that you, you know, you, you can hear three things that you can hear. The next thing would be two things you could smell. So again, look for two individual smells that um, that that you might have in a, in pro close proximity to you. And then the last thing would be. It can be to do with a sense of taste, so something that you can taste. So perhaps if you had something, you know, some water that you could take a drink of and um, again, as I said, the mint chewing gum is a very good one. So maybe carrying some in your bag um pop it in your mouth it is a it is a good one um or you can just name something good about yourself that you know you could say that you could do that um and as i said that can be repeated that exercise can be repeated over and over again until um you feel reorientated and calmer it is a good one exact you know it is only one example of many grounding techniques that you can do there are loads more out there. There are some specific ones for trauma um, that, you know, a therapist can work through with you. So what I would say is that, you know, if you feel that there was a trauma in your life um, or you are experiencing, you know, overwhelm in your life right now, I would urge you to actually go and see a local therapist wherever you are. And, um, you know, it can be they really will help you very quickly to reorientate into the present moment and reorientate into your life and be able to manage the challenges that you're facing currently right now. So please do reach out to that, um, you know, that local therapist. So that's this. That's that for this week as always thank you for watching um i hope you find these um interesting if you have any questions if you can't find those blogs i've mentioned ask me you know i'll, I'll put a link up um in response to you if you can't find something but um i leave it there thank you for watching as always and i'll see you again next week thank you